Are you in a couple looking for a third? Or are you single and searching for a dating app that actually encourages you to embrace your sexual side? Field values sex positivity and encourages you to share your desires and interests directly to your profile. You can share freely about how traditional or how kinky you may be. And here's some great news. You can download the app for free by going to field.co. Just click on the link in our episode description to get the Field app for free today. I don't think your body becomes like resilient to bruises. So like, I would think that you would still get them. And then you come back and you do like modeling jobs. And then, I mean, at least for me, I know if a girl shoves up with bruises all over her, I'm like, yeah, you know, I got to try to cover it with makeup and then it gets all over the clothes and it gets all over the furniture and it gets all over the other performer. And it's just like, and it's body makeup is so hard to do. Right. Especially for bruising. Yeah. Because I've had my tattoos covered and a couple of bruising. It takes like hours yeah. to cover it. It's terrible. And it's just, and also too, because like generally with body makeup, like like with your face, you're covering your entire face with foundation, right? So it's mm-hmm. easy to match and blend. But with bruises, you generally don't want to cover the whole body with no, makeup. No, it looks bad. Yeah. And also too, it'll come off on everything. Yeah. So you've got to like try to blend like one spot with the rest of your natural skin, which isn't even like foundation is. It's just a fucking nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. It's really a pain in the ass. But you get used to the bruising kind of when you're stripping. Because my knees would, because we would do a lot of floor work. So mm-hmm. my knees were always bruised. Yeah. And then after a while, maybe I just wasn't like pushing down so hard on my knees or something. Yeah. But I, I didn't get as many bruises. So I wonder if your body does, though, get used to like, I don't know if you bruise less after a while, like it reacts less strongly to the impact. Maybe. Because that would make sense. I don't know. We should, if there's a doctor listening that knows about this thing, tell us because I am curious. Like, yeah. can your body get used to bruising? I think you get used to not squeezing the pole. Because, you know, like when you're doing the class and stuff, didn't you feel like you were squeezing with your legs like super tight? Yeah, because I didn't want to fall on my fucking head. Yeah. So maybe after a while, you just get, like she said, you get used to not having to squeeze so tight because you're yeah. comfortable. Yeah. But I've seen so many girls, you know, they're drinking and whatever, and they fall, they hit their head, they oh, do those suicide geez. drops. and Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was one girl, she would always drink, and she would always do a suicide drop, fall, hit her head, and she would wear a wig, so the wig would <laughs> bounce off every single time. I'm like, this girl is not going to be making money. Like, you guys need to get rid of her. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that you saw some um, train wrecks probably when yeah. you were working. So many. I miss it sometimes for Just those. the people watching? Yeah, yeah. Do, do you, is there anybody that sticks out in your mind particularly that was like super entertaining besides the wig girl? Well, she did a couple of things that were pretty entertaining. I don't know if she was always on Adderall or something, but I remember one time we had to lock her in the bathroom because she wanted to come out and kill everyone. Oh, my God. And she thought everyone was laughing at her, and we were laughing at her because she was on drugs, but no one was laughing. I don't recall, not like not even one person laughing, so we had to lock her in the bathroom oh my God. the whole night, and she was just, like, raging. That sounds like more than Adderall. Yeah. Like, that sounds like she was on some either something Anger. else or she's got some serious mental issues. Like speed or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow, that's crazy. I know. Oh, my God. But there was, oh, there was one girl that every time she drank, she would walk with her ankles turned in. Oh, dear. And, like Bambi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The like, time. have you, there's actually a video online if you look it up. It's called like the Las Vegas walk or something like that. And it's just, um, girls, drunk girls in heels, like trying to like walk down the casino yeah. and just like their legs buckling in and their ankles buckling in. And it's just like, I mean, if you think about it, and actually I'm wearing like platform shoes today and I was walking here, you know, and I'm sober right now. And okay. I was thinking, to myself, because I almost never wear heels, because I'm just like, when you get older, you just like don't want to deal with it. It's just, it's right. so uncomfortable. Right. And um, and I was thinking to myself, and I'm like, I'm having a hard time walking in these sober. Like, who thinks it's a good idea to, first of all, who came up with the idea of high heels in the first place? And then you decide that high heels are something dressy that you wear. So you wear it when you go out. And then usually when you go out, you go and you drink. So basically, like, not only are we putting, you know, 
girls are putting things in their bodies that like make them inebriated, make it harder for them to all their motor skills have gone out the window and then we're going to put them on like fucking little stilettos. And it's like, how do you not just eat shit all the time? I mean, I've been pretty drunk before and I've never had so far any accidents when I'm wearing heels, but I'm sure the day will come. Yeah. I had a, I had a really bad one once. So I was in Vegas at the AVN show and I was drunk. This is a long time ago. And I was talking to, we were at like some, I think it was like a wicked private party or something like that. And I was talking to this girl, Bobby, oh, she was from Australia. I can't remember her last name right now. But anyways, I was talking to her and right behind her was like a glass table with all these drinks on it. And we were just standing, blah, blah, blah. And then like t- chatting. I don't know what happened. I just, I didn't even move, but just suddenly like, my legs buckled under me or you my ankle out. buckled. Yeah, yeah, I just like gave out and I fell forward onto her and we both crashed backwards into the table and shattered the table and shattered all the drinks. It was like this huge, like, and I wasn't even moving. Were you hurt, like cut up after that? No, or? neither oh, of us were. That's good at least. I know. I actually couldn't believe it. It could have been shit so bad. But that's she had like scary. a couple of bruises, but... Yeah, I know. I was, oh I, I felt really bad. I've done some pretty, n- nothing like that. I've just done some pretty unnecessary stuff. Yeah, <laughs> when you were drinking? Yeah. I feel like everybody could probably say that. Yeah. I think that we've all had experiences that we've done things that we later on were like, I could have just not done that. You're that would have right. been better if I had not done that. But it was funny at the time, right? Yeah, it's funny at the time and uh, just not... Just later, not good, not good. (laughs) Are you in a couple looking for a third? Or are you single and searching for a dating app that actually encourages you to embrace your sexual side? Field values sex positivity and encourages you to share your desires and interests directly to your profile. You can share freely about how traditional or how kinky you may be. And here's some great news. You can download the app for free by going to field.co. Just click on the link in our episode description to get the Field app for free today.